What's going on guys? I'm just coming in guys with another episode of Music Monday. Unfortunately, Tim is not going to be able to make it for you guys, but we're going to keep this Music Monday rolling. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about the inspiration of them and starting out how to make beats uh, with Logic or any kind of program you guys want to use. So let's get started. <laughs> Now before I talk about any of this, I'd like to give a big shout out to the two people that entered the giveaway for the last Music Monday. Unfortunately, because there was only two people that entered, we will not be able to actually like give out a $25 gift certificate to iTunes. I apologize to the winners, but you guys can definitely go ahead and check out their video entries down below in the box. They're pretty awesome, they're pretty cool. So I'd like to give a big thanks out to you guys and we appreciate it. I already actually talked to them about it and they were definitely cool about it. So. Um, I apologize for that. But talking about, you know, starting off making beats. When I first started out making beats, I started out using Fruity Loops, which is a Windows program, and it's actually still awesome and powerful editing program, to, you know, to lay down MIDI tracks into it. But I started out probably about six, seven years ago. I actually just started out to, you know, mess around, just fool around making beats and stuff like that. Um, my, my little brother was actually, like, making better beats than I was. I was just kind of fooling around. I didn't know about, I didn't know anything about, like, music producing about any of that stuff, I kind of just, you know, did it just to be like, hey, look at this beat that I made. And then, you know, I just kind of kept on doing it for a while and just kind of became a hobby, kind of like a YouTube thing. You're like, you're like addicted to this one, go keep on going back and back and back to it. And that's kind of what I did and I just furtherly progressed, like, you know, just fooled around with it. You know, the best teacher, in my opinion, is yourself. Once you figure out things for yourself, then you can, you know, kind of teach your way through it. And that's the kind of way I didn't have anybody teach me how to make music. I didn't have anyone teach me how to do this, how to do that. I just kind of figured it all by myself. I taught myself how to play the piano, how to play the keyboard. And that's probably the easiest way to lay down MIDI tracks. And then, you know, I kind of further progressed using Logic and stuff like that. And it's just gotten me to the point where I am today. And that's why where people ask me, well, how did you get so good? You know, I kind of just taught myself and it takes time and effort and dedication into making good beats and actually making them sound very good. So hopefully, you know, I'm trying to reach out to you guys with Music Monday. I'm gonna be trying to give you guys, you know, screenshots of me, you know, making beats and stuff like that. The only problem with that is it's gonna be kind of hard because I'm actually a, a perfectionist. I like to have everything perfect uh, to where I want it and I'll, you know, I'll mess with something for hours if I don't like how it sounds. Um, other than that, that's just kind of the, how I started off. Just definitely, if you guys want to, you know, start off making beats, you know, if you're using a Mac computer, you know, start off with GarageBand. Don't start off with Logic yet. Like, it's a little more complicated than what people may seem for it. Definitely start off with GarageBand, you know, Free Loops. Uh, there's different, uh, different programs. Reason is a pretty good one. Uh, you know, just start off. Teach yourself how to do them, you know, teach yourself, because I can't give you my musical talent, but I can definitely teach you how to, you know, progress, because if you want to progress, you will progress, and you know, and then in the next episode, I'm going to teach you how, how to structure a song, so you guys will be able to make some of your beats of your own. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me about making custom beats for you guys, because I know I did a few custom beats for that Snazzy iPhone guy, if you haven't checked him out, um, you can go ahead and check out his channel, it's that Snazzy iPhone guy, I made a custom intro for him, it's actually a pretty cool, uh, it's, it's actually maps up pretty perfect, and that actually takes a lot of work, because you gotta look at something and then try to make your music to sound like what you want it to sound like, and that takes time, and a lot of you guys, I think over 55 of you guys, asked me to make custom intros for you guys. If I could do that for my job, I would definitely give you guys everything about that. But it does take time, it does take a lot of effort. So I am going to be charging about $30 to $35 to make a custom intro for you guys. So hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me about that, but it does take a lot of time. So I'm going to wrap up this here. It's a Music Monday episode. Make sure you guys check out the beat that's going to be playing. I'm going to be playing, give you guys, I'm going to be giving you guys a great snippet of a beat that I've been working on lately. Uh, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. To be able to download this beat, it's only going to take 100 likes. If you guys give it 100 likes, you can get this beat for free. Um, I'll give you probably a minute to a minute and a half of it. It's actually a pretty awesome beat. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys on the next Music Monday. Peace.